Ako si Maria Reyes Mahadas, 42 years old. Nakatira sa Sooy, Nangatan, Tabango, Liti. May dalawang anak. Born on September 2, 1979, Maria Rio Luz A. Mahadas is a farmer's daughter and a sister to her seven siblings. After her mother's death, her father single-handedly raised all eight children. She earned her bachelor's degree in agricultural technology at the Leyte National Agricultural College. However, only Mahadas would grow to love the fields that their father worked tirelessly at for decades, while her brothers and sisters left for the cities. After marrying her husband, Mahadas became the family's breadwinner. She continued farming and serving as a barangay worker while also raising her two children. She did struggle, but she always found ways to make ends meet. Mahadas manages a 5-hectare land on which she grows a variety of crops, although palay is her primary produce. She also raises swines, poultry, goats, cattle, carabao, and milkfish for additional income. With its multiple activities and production, her farm recorded an average net income of 390,200 pesos per year, giving her a return of investment of 67.87%. Her family, including her father and father-in-law, assist Mahadas as she oversees her farm. This allows her to also have time for her barangay work and women's association duties on weekends. Mahadas attended trainings and seminars that encouraged her to use climate-smart technologies in her farm. These include the no-burning policy, Mangrove planting in coastal areas Reforestation in Mount Canturao Mulching plots Beekeeping as a pollination strategy Use of organic fertilizers and pesticides and integrated pest management Three years of not using any chemical products in her farm resulted in lower production costs and nutritious harvests. She also puts premium on transparency and managing her agribusiness venture. Mahadas believes that it builds solid trust and camaraderie among members of her farm and even within her organization. Mahadas herself experienced the destructive force of Super Typhoon Yolanda which devastated not only Leyte but also other parts of the country. Droughts also affected their municipality and devastated her rice plantation. Luckily for Mahadas, her farm was insured under the Department of Agriculture's Philippine Crop Insurance Corporation. Mahadas also had multiple encounters of agricultural associations led by men being prioritized as recipients of farming equipment simply because of misconceptions that women farmers are clueless about the proper use and maintenance of machineries. The COVID-19 pandemic may have been difficult for many farmers, but Mahadas took it as a blessing due to the rising demand for locally grown crops. All of these challenges taught Mahadas to always prepare for both best and worst scenarios. Upon the recommendation of their municipal office, Mahadas and other women farmers established the Inangatan Integrated Women's Farmers Association. As founding president, she shares her best practices with her fellow members helping them establish their respective paths 
towards a successful agri-venture. The Tabango Local Government Unit, the DA Regional Field Office 8, and many other institutions started inviting them for more trainings, investments, extension programs, and even partnerships. Salamat mi sa DE, sa Department of Agriculture na tinulungan nila kami sa kung paano ang uh, mga teknolohiya na i ibigay sa amin or itulong na mga techniques. Uh, magpasalamat mi ug dako sa LGU sa Tabango Leyte na binigyan kami ng mga trainings uh, kanang makinarya or mga idea na para lang jud na matugunan ang amo ang panginahanglan To give back to the community, Mahadas led the conduct of feeding programs for children. She also continues to power her fellow local women by engaging them in various advocacies such as farming, environmental protection, proper nutrition, and women empowerment, especially in the field of agriculture. Masarap maging magsasaka dahil nandito lang yung pera. 